you're here today, my name is Courtney. If you're new here, if not, welcome back. We're going to be doing another Lulu's unboxing. You guys really enjoyed my first unboxing of Lulu's, so I thought why not do another one with the new styles for 2021. I have taken a peek at these styles just to make sure that my order was correct and everything, but I am literally so excited to try these on for you guys and to hopefully help you decide which dress to get if you're thinking of purchasing one from Lulu's. I also wanted to say this video is not sponsored in any way. It's simply just me having fun and um, being a bride myself, it's really fun to look at these dresses and think of ways to incorporate them. Like I might keep one of these for a going away dress, a bridal shower dress. I ended up not keeping one from that first order just because there wasn't one that fit perfectly that I really truly loved. So maybe we'll find something today that fits and works better. I did try to get a variety of different styles. I have learned in my wedding dress shopping video, which I'll link up here and also in the description below that I don't really love tight dresses and I don't really love sleeved dresses. I just feel like for me, the top most important thing is comfort. And if you're not comfortable in your dress, you're not gonna feel confident and like enjoy your day. You're gonna be thinking about how uncomfortable you are. So with each of these dresses, I will put a photo here of the style from online so you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like on the models. And then also the price I will put on the screen because I don't have that all in front of me now, but I will once I edit this video. <laughs> Real quick, before we get started, it would mean so much to me if you would hit that subscribe button to join my friend group and support my channel. And also if you liked this video, that would be absolutely amazing and I'd be forever grateful. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I do have a whole wedding series where I tried on Lulu's dresses before, also Lulu's bridesmaid dresses. If you're in the market for bridesmaid dresses within the next year or so, or later on, sometimes it's fun to just watch these videos. Even if you're not engaged or married, I definitely did that because it's just entertaining. And then I also have my whole wedding dress shopping experience, which I will also link down below. Okay, let's get started. For size reference, I am a size extra small in all of these dresses. And you can kind of see as we try them on, which styles maybe run a little bit smaller or fit tighter, even though they're the same extra small. And I'm five foot three, so I'm pretty short and I'll be wearing heels trying these on just for reference. Okay, let's start with the first one. I absolutely love the sleeves on this. I think it is so, Beautiful. I think the neckline where it has more of a triangle neckline or a V neckline is very pretty. The lace detailing on this is so pretty. Very good quality, especially for the great price. Definitely recommend this one if you're looking into getting a dress. Um, I love how the back has these adorable buttons. Did I say that weird? Buttons? <laughs> I love how the back has these adorable buttons and that just really open back feature is very pretty um, and very desirable in some opinions with wedding dresses. Oh, there is a really pretty slit here, so I'm interested to see how that fits. I know sometimes the slit is really convenient when you're walking so you don't trip over your dress. So let's go ahead and try this one on and see how it looks and I'll tell you what I think about it. This one definitely fit a little bit more tight around the waist. I actually really liked how it fit on the bottom. This one, I feel like the sleeves are very unique and you don't see that in a lot of dresses. And I know that the sleeves are pretty a pretty popular trend right now. I love the neckline and I love the back and I would probably give this one an eight out of 10 if I was going to rate it. Overall, this one was a really great dress. Most of the dresses I picked out have a lot of lace because I think lace is really pretty. This one has a little bit more of a nude undertone. I'll go ahead and put the image here of what it looks like on the model. I actually ordered this one a long time ago in a small before they had extra small. So I'm curious to see how this one fits because small is definitely too big. It has this like rubberized top here, which also I talked about in my last video about Lulu's dresses, which is really nice because then they don't slip down and you can feel like they're gonna be really secure. I absolutely love the like pleat, not pleating, the like layers of fabric in this one. The lace is a bit more floral rather than like super like traditional lace, I guess you could say. And I think that that is really pretty. The one thing I'm noticing is that the bodice of this is a bit shorter than the small that I tried on. So we'll see how that looks. 
my my smallest part of my waist is a little bit lower than that so it may not be as flattering as i had hoped but we'll go ahead and see how it looks I did want to mention that this dress is more of a T-length dress. It's a little long on me for how I would like it to fit, but I do really like that style for like a bridal shower or a rehearsal dinner type dress. I think if that would be really fun. I love the neckline on the top with the sleeves and like the off the shoulder look with it. And it's not too tight. Like other dresses can be a little restricting. This one was really comfortable. The only thing I would say is that I don't really love the top where it's tight on me. Maybe it, I would need to have this taken in on the sides so that it's a little bit more um, tight fitting around my waist so that it'll feel a little bit better in it. But overall, I really do like this dress. Okay, the third one, the bottom detailing lace on this one is so pretty. I love the like little pieces that come off at the end. I don't know if you can see that, but I think that is so pretty. This one is different than the other dresses because it is a wrap style dress. So as opposed to the other one we just tried on, that one is like you zip it up and it's gonna fit you how, how the dress is. Whereas this one, it ties around the front. So you can really adjust it to your waist, which I'm really excited to try this one on. This one has a little bit more of a nude underlay also and almost has like, not fishnet, but I, the only thing I can think of is the word fishnet. Um, almost like a fishnet pattern in the back of the lace and the lace detailing is a little bit more spread out. I also like the detail at the bottom of this dress, how it has like a lace line around the bottom before it kind of like breaks out, I guess, a little bit the bottom. I'm really eager to try this one on, so we'll go ahead and see how this one looks. I personally really like this one. I don't know if it's because I can tie it to my waist or if it's the, the like little sleeve detail or the length. The length is a little bit better on this one, but this one so far is my favorite. Um, and I feel like this would be a perfect bridal shower dress if you're going for a more long style, a little bit more formal, but um, something you can wear again if you're going on vacation or definitely one you can wear on your honeymoon afterwards. I think I like the almost like boho aspect of this dress, even though my wedding isn't really a boho theme at all. I think that this reminds me of boho and I like that element. Um, but overall, this one's probably my favorite so far. Moving on to the next one. So this is the one I ordered that was not lace. And it also has more beading on it, which I really like beading. Hint, hint, that may be a hint of what my dress may look like, but who knows? Also, I will be making a whole video about my wedding dress from trying it on for the first time, getting my dress in once I ordered it, doing all the customizations with the seamstress and then lastly the final product at our wedding but i wanted that to be its own separate video just because i do want to save that special um surprise for my wedding day and it's kind of special that only my mom grandma sister and a few of my really close friends know what the dress looks like so it'll be a really fun surprise on the wedding day anyway so make sure you stay tuned for that because it's definitely going to be a really fun video to make back to real time with this video um this one is a more halter i guess style which I was really excited to try on. I'm really excited to see how that looks. This one has more beading and I feel like this one is very elegant. The bottom is more of like a chiffon style um, and it has really nice seams here in the front so that helps accentuate your waist. And then this has a cool cross back. I'm curious how this one's going to look like on compared to the others because it's a different neckline and it's not lace. So I'll go ahead and see how this one looks like on. I am pleasantly surprised with how this one looks. I think it's definitely more like more of a dress you could pull off for your actual wedding dress and it's a great deal with the price. I don't think there's anything I don't like about this dress to be honest. I think it's very beautiful, really flowy, very flattering. Um, I personally prefer more of a sweetheart neckline or like a strapless style. I do think this one is very pretty if you're looking for a more affordable dress for your wedding or all the other fun um, festivities and events that we talked about. Last one. This one is a very beautiful A-line style dress. This one does come with a bra inside with um, some pads inside the bra cups, which I think is amazing because then you don't have to wear a bra and that's really uncomfortable. This one is also a crisscross back, as you can see kind of here. Um, I love the lace detail and how it's on the whole dress. 
this one seems very seamless. I love the neckline and this like pattern here in the middle where it accentuates your top of your rib cage. Does this one have a slit? Yeah, this one has a slit. I got this one because it reminds me a lot of the dress that I really liked from the first video. I'll put a short clip in here of what that one looked like, or if you haven't seen that yet, you should check out that video after this one. But if you remember, I really liked this one, but it was a little bit too big. So I'm curious to see how this one fits because this one is also an extra small. Um, and I feel like I really like this style. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on and see how it looks and see how it compares to the other dresses. So I did really like this one. Again, it is just a little bit too big around my waist, which is unfortunate, but that's just kind of how it is when you're ordering dresses online. You don't really know the exact fit that it's going to um, come. But I will say that I really loved how elegant this dress was. I loved the, the silhouette in general, I think was just really pretty. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but yeah, overall I, I like this one, but it's not my favorite just because it doesn't fit me as well as I would hope it would. If they had this one in an extra, extra small, then that would be amazing. Okay, so I did notice that the sizes ranged quite a bit. So like these are all extra smalls and some of them fit way tighter than the others. If you're thinking about ordering some dresses to try on, I definitely recommend getting a variety. If you have one dress that you love and you're in between sizes, maybe order both and then you can return which one doesn't fit. Lulu's is amazing with their returns. They are really great as long as they are in excellent brand new condition with tags still intact, then you should be fine to return. Um, I think that's kind of common with their website is that they have a lot of brides who want to try stuff on, bridesmaids and wedding guests. And so you can really have that like try on experience um, while shopping online. I have to say, I think this one was my favorite. I just really liked the way it fit and the way it made me feel and the length and everything. So if you could let me know down in the comments below which dress was your favorite, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions or if you're getting married soon and this video helped you, I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you check out my wedding series. I'll link that up here if you wanna check that out, my wedding dress shopping videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and being a part of today's video. I hope to see you in another video real soon. Thanks. Bye.